don't know. I don't know what's bu I don't know what's causing my powers to go to go in, to go into a malfunction. But oh my god. Mm. Oh, hello. Oh. Are you alright, sir? It, I'm fine, I'm just having a headache, that's all. Oh, oh dear. Uh, hang on, hang on a minute. Uh, uh, see. Uh, uh, follow me this way. Hold on. Okay. Alright, so just as. Uh, just come over to these flowers, try to at least take in the aromas. It should help alleviate the headache. Okay. Alright, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit better. Those flowers did ah. help. <laughs> I'm glad. You never, never underestimate the power of flowers or herbs. You never know when they may be able to help you in uh, old situations like this. Remind me to use, remind me to use flowers next time whenever I'm feeling a bit, feeling a bit snobbish or something like that. <laughs> Understandable, but uh, how did you get here? Are, are you a friend of Tommy's? I I'm very well associated with nature. Ah. So I assume that my garden must have attracted you over here then. Yeah. You can say that. <laughs> oh, where my mama? So my name is Lavender. Lavender the Hedgefox. I'm superior. Superior the Hedgefox. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, the superior. But now yes, as I, you can, now as like I, I said, now that I, hmm? now that I, now that I notice, we're technically the same species. <laughs> well, that we are. <laughs> but hmm. yes, this is my garden area here. Normally, normally, I, but I have a well. <laughs> Well, besides having a green thumb, my, my, pow my power usually lies amongst nature. Nature? Kind of like me, but... Hmm. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, yes. Usually, I, I try to make sure that at least everything is still growing health healthy here, like the trees, other plants, flowers... As much as possible here. Maybe I should, maybe I, maybe I should help you one time, or maybe once, because I do have, I do have nature with me, but that's not the only one, but that's not the only thing I do. Oh? Well, what else are you able to do? I possess, I possess, I possess this power called elemental manipulation. Basically, I, oh? was born, I was born with elemental powers. Born with elemental energy. And I can use mm. elemental elemental abilities. I see. Interesting. <laughs> for me, I for me I had no idea what my powers were until I had, well, come of age. Usually when coming of age is usually around twelve years old. I realized I was able to use the pow power of nature to try and restore, to restore and regrow nature, but also try to at least keep other, well, other plants alive. Though, however, it was about a couple of years ago that I also discovered another power within me when it relies on somebody's heart. Hmm. Huh. That's pretty interesting indeed. Mm-hmm. Though that power didn't come in until I was pregnant with my twins. Oh, <laughs> you're a mother now? Oh, that's sweet. 
Yep, a mother of three. Two, two elder twins, and my youngest is three years old. They can be a rambunctious bunch, but... <laughs> uh, fun funnily enough, though, there's some... Though they all seem to have a lot of different interests, whether or not they want to take up with what I usually do, or whether they, they want to take up what their father does. <laughs> hmm. I managed to achieve my elemental powers ever since I was just a really young infant hybrid. And this gem, hmm. and I got this gemstone located on my head when I was just when I was just very little. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, in order in order to keep my elemental powers in control, I have these elemental rings around me, around me, around me, around me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So it looks like you had a lot of extensive energy, but thankfully with those rings, you're able to keep them under control. Yes. They're very important. They're very mm. important. They're very much important to my powers. Mm. Understandable there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far, as far as I'm aware of, I haven't run into, well, anybody with excessive energy. I only just met one person who's, uh, well, who had his darker side wind up pop popping out, but it simmered down after a bit because he was going through, going through a lot and kind of going through a, a bit of a turmoil within himself. But, uh, but thankfully, not only was I able to help him, but so was a few others. Hmm. I see. <laughs> so you have the powers of nature, nature, right? I do. Let me let me sense let me sense it real quick. Hold on. Uh ah uh, ah. Uh, okay. You do have power. You do have nature powers. I'm pretty much. In, I'm mm -hmm. very impressed. <laughs> yes, but again, at least at least I was able to at least expand upon it, and also plus be able to study all the natures as well as flowers and herbs that help find those that actually harm others. But at the same time, too, <laughs> I don't I don't mind having other little animals or bugs running about here, especially all the butterflies that you've been seeing. Yeah, those butterflies are pretty nice. <laughs> I'm pretty much the same yes. thing, but I'm pretty much, pretty much the same thing. Protecting nature and protecting nature and and protecting it with my life. That's that's all I want hmm. to do. I see. So it looks like that from your own nature powers, it pretty much expands more than just the plant life, more like the life of many others. Well, I well, I still have well. My elemental powers are pretty much important to nature, so yeah, basically that. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, <sighs> yeah. Sometimes I try to also be able to try to teach some of my children. I know that my son, one of the twins, he seems to have a lot of. He seems to always have a lot of interest when it comes to trees. So hence why you do see a few trees hiding about here. They're still in their growing stages now. I see. <laughs> and... And then also as well, I do know that my youngest, she always seems to enjoy the flowers, especially the purple ones here. <laughs> mm, they resemble your the purple ones resemble your color, or fur color. Mm hmm Seems that whenever my youngest always runs into a lavender flower, she always says, Oh, look, mommy, it's you! <laughs> Aww. That's sweet. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. And pretty much I've been kind of growing the flowers out a bit more, too, since a friend of mine is uh, getting married soon and wanted to at least make sure that there's enough for decorations. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Let's <laughs> go. <Yes>, though... <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, though, but... 
Is that, is that the only way you're able to detect my detect my garden? Is because of all the nature going here? Yes. When I was sensing, when I noticed, when I was touch, when I was when I was using the the herbs over there, they managed to heal me, heal my headache, heal my headache. Like this one, for example. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Those ones there are still technically in their growing stages, but however, probably give it about a week or so and they should be ready to help help I'll be able to use their properties. Maybe I can maybe I can use something to help them grow grow faster. Huh? This uh, what is that? This is the Nature Emerald. It's one of the elemental emeralds that was created by my godmother about a millennium ago. Uh, wait, um, millennium ago? Yes. Apparently I've been around for thousands of years. Huh. I'm still, <laughs> and I'm still protecting nature to this day. I may be old, but I'm still pretty young in my own right. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd be able to meet uh, another immortal here. <laughs> Yep, I'm immortal as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not immortal myself, but I do have I, we do have a family friend who's technically considered immortal. But, anyways, go on. Sorry. It's fine. I know. I accept. I accept those who are not immortal. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. The, the nature emerald can help can help can help grow these flowers faster. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, they have grown a bit faster. The properties are already starting to activate. Yep. Thanks to thanks to thanks to the power of an elemental emerald. <laughs> that is definitely quite interesting, right there. <laughs> mhm. Mm the elemental em the elemental emeralds are basically a source of my powers. If anything if anything bad would would have happened to them, my powers would would be suspended or. S they would probably be suspended or be deactivated. Without my without mm. my powers, I'm pretty much a vulnerable point. Basically, mm. that. Understandable. I have been through many vulnerable points, but still alive now, and still, still a mother and a wife. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready. To, I'm not ready to be. I'm. I'm not ready. I'm not sure if I'm ready to be a to be a father in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, with your age, I'm sure you got plenty of time. <laughs> yes, time is in the essence. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh. <clears throat> Sorry, just been having a lot on my mind as of recent. <laughs> I've yeah, I've been having stuff on my mind as well about it. I've been having some memories about a certain event that that caused me to be on my own for a while and started to start having some friends of mine that I've met in my in my world and my mom and my. My mom and dad, they were the they were the first elemental guardians before I was born. And they they've been mm -hmm. they were the ones who helped me train my fa my father was I was spa I was sparring with my father when he was helping me control my elemental powers and my mother my mother helped me meditate so I can relax with relax my mind. Don't let my negative emotions get the best of me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Ah, understandable. Yeah, but... Uh, 
I'm I they I haven't seen them in a while and I'm and I and I'm still I'm still on the search of what I'm still I'm basically on the search on what happened to my parents because after I saw what happened I it's best that I don't want I don't talk about it. Hmm. Well <clears throat> regardless of what happens to your to your parents, hopefully you do find them soon. That's when I'm that's that's when I'm afraid of what are they what are they what if they may have what if they have not survived or what if what if they're what if they're somewhere somewhere else in the world or the, the entire okay. multiverse Superior? And, so, and why and uh, Okay, alright, that's it. Alright, Superior, Superior, calm down. Okay, hold on. Just focus on your heart and focus on the hope that you'll be able to find them alive. Focus on that. There we go. Sorry, it's a bit of a habit, but... You won't be able to know what will happen to your parents until you find them. If you keep on thinking that if they're not alive, then chances are... It will put you back further on your search. I'm still looking. For, I'm, I'm just looking. I'm still looking. I'm still looking for answers. You know, I, I just. I just. I just. I don't know what to do. Well, it's like what I did. It's been on my mind. It's been on, it's been on my mind recently. I just don't. Superior. Okay, that's it. Focus on your heart again. Focus. Just remember. Use your heart to find the answers that you need. Letting your mind running amok is only going to put you back further. Focus on your heart. Now, how are you feeling? I feel a bit calm. Good. I feel a bit calm and wise. I guess I... Okay. I, I guess I hesitated a little bit there. That was also the other ability I told you about. The heart. The heart? At least I'm just glad that, that my ability didn't react negatively towards you. Yeah. So, I, again? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for going all... Um... A bit he hectic there. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I need to worry. I was just worried, that's all. Yeah, I understand. And... I understand. I get you're concerned about their well-being, but at the same time... Don't hold yourself back when you're trying to find them. Always follow your heart. Figuratively and literally. Hmm. As that will be able to help you find the answers faster. And be able to get you over to where they may be a lot sooner. Yeah, I guess I was too busy being worried, and I, I was—I guess I was just too busy being worried about what happened to my parents. I didn't focus on what I just didn't listen to my heart. <laughs> yeah. the heart is more than just for pumping the blood and showing what your soul is like. It can be able to also help with unveiling answers, finding well, some. Finding others that could be able to be considered close to you. If you just simply ignore your heart, or keep all your focus on your mind instead, then all it will do is make you lost. True. I, just, I, I guess I shouldn't have been like this from the very beginning. Ever since I started coming at, started to come at Mobius. 
or, or visit it well. visit Mobius. Well, just make sure to remember, when in doubt, follow the heart. That way at least you have a clear mind state. And also, whatever you do, do not panic if you end up hearing bad news. Believe me, I'm pretty, I'm pretty calm when it comes to bad news. But when it's something that I'm, that's something that I'm aware of, I just, I just go on a bit of a panic, 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 panic trick or a panic trip or a panic attack. But mm. I just, I'm just. Sometimes I sometimes I avoid bad things, but if there's something that involves me, I tend to panic a little bit. <clears throat> that can happen at times, but again, the heart will be able to lead you to where it needs to be, and hopefully, it will minimize on those panic attacks that you get. I see. Even I had to tell myself that too after I had my twins. <laughs> yeah, just be just be glad that your husband yeah your husband was there for you. Yeah, he was. Though, some even though that a lot of people keep saying that oh we're the perfect couple and whatnot. Sure, we may be, though we still have our obstacles that usually try to keep throwing themselves at us. But it's not like it ended up throwing us into any, well, turmoils, but wound up challenging the both of us as a couple rather than trying to split us up. If you understand what I mean. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> ah, yes, but... Oh, but what time is it? Uh, well, I better get back over to my home there. Almost time to get dinner ready for the children. Yeah, as for me, I'm still, I'm still going, I, I, I'm still going at my discoveries. So like as, a, as I was saying, I, I, I'm still on a discovery search because when I, because this is my first time being at Mobius, and I'm still getting used, getting used to being here. It's pretty much. It's almost somewhat similar in my world, but diff but there's a bit diff there's a bit of a difference. I I'm not sure if I, I can explain further because sometimes I'm good and sometimes I'm not good at explaining things. I uh, well, I understand what you mean. Pretty much Mobius here, similar to your world, but that has its obvious differences. Yeah. Well, at any rate, but anyway, anyways, I better. Uh, uh, I want to thank mm -hmm. you, Lavender, for helping me out. Uh, first, mm -hmm. first, the first, I had a headache, and and then I started panicking a bit. But you were there for me to help me calm down and help me follow my heart. Mm, of course. And if you ever get another headache again or some strange ailments, feel free to come on by here. You should be able to know well where the garden is with how the with how it was able to draw you here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much a garden or a meadow or something like that that might be able to help me out in case if in mm. case if something like that happens again. Understandable. But anyways, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I guess you're pretty much of a hugger, huh? Yeah. Supporting is my supporting is my only thing after all. I love supporting everyone, mm -hmm. and that's what I, and that's what I'll always do. Understandable. Oh, and one other thing: if you run into an eagle called Grant, it's okay if you end up making making his car blow up or making him uh, get a just desserts. He's a uh, he's a bit of a pain. Let me guess. He, he's the he's an he's let me guess. He's an eagle that that is has an obsession over you and he won't leave you alone. Leave you alone. Leave you alone. That and also plus he won't leave Tommy alone too and always wants to challenge him to races. Racing. 
I've never heard of a race before, but maybe I would like to meet Tommy one day and maybe he can show me how racing wo racing works. Well, if you know what cars are, then you should be able to understand, but otherwise, probably if I'm able to, I'll see if we can be able to get you front row seats to one of his races. That way you get a better concept on what goes on. Yeah, maybe, maybe that, yeah, maybe I might, maybe I might think about, um, um, think about on that. <laughs> I'm still, I'm All still, right. well, I'm, I'm a bit of a slow learner, but I'm still learning. <laughs> well, better a slow learner than somebody who refuses to learn at all. Anyway, I'd best be heading off now. It was nice to meet you, Lavender. <laughs> and pleasure to meet you, Superior. Yes. Us, us has foxes got to stick together, even though we're the same species. <laughs> that is true. But anyways, oh, hang on, children. Hang on. <laughs> All right. All right. It's best uh, you, it's best you go. Your it's children, it. your children need you. Yes, they won't be able to feed themselves. They're still too young to cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, I'll see you later, Lavender. You have fun. All right. See you later, Superior. All right. All right. It's time to head out. All right. Let's go. Element control. <laughs>